Hello everyone, welcome to State of the Game number 113 on the 20th of March. We released a game recently, it's yes. called The Division 2, maybe you've heard of it. It's uh, going pretty well. Um, well, I mean, I, I say that from a privileged position of not having to deal with all of the stress that <laughs> you have. Is it going pretty well? Yeah, it, it is. It is. Right. I think everybody, uh, everybody's been, you know, mentioning it and talking about mm -hmm. it. So overall, it's been a pretty smooth launch. Uh, everything's going uh, pretty good. At least you know on the infrastructure side and server side. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything's been very stable, and uh, and uh, yeah, the servers are holding on. So that's pretty great. Of course, okay. we have a few hiccups and issues and things we're looking at. Sure. But so far, there's been a pretty good rollout and reactivity in fixing those. So. We're working on the next uh, on the next server patch. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're going to be patching the servers in an upcoming maintenance. Uh, and there's a bunch of fixes we want to put in there that, that we have ready and that we should be able to deploy. Of course, this is a live game, so things can always happen. But as it's looking right now, mm -hmm. uh, what we have in there is fixes for uh, the guiding missions that break. So it's all the times that you have a uh, go talk to you know. Uh, go talk to the division coordinator, or go talk to that person, or mm -hmm. go to that place. All the missions that are not actual you know missions in the game, but that are just like directing you to a place, that can sometimes break if you're playing in multiplayer and this okay. kind of thing, or in, uh, in co-op. Uh, so we'll have a fix for that. Uh, we'll have a fix for the daily and weekly uh, daily and weeklies that are not resetting. Yeah, uh, what's going on with those? Because they don't basically they don't reset when you're not online for some reason. Okay. Uh, so if you're online all the time, sounds, you sounds might stupid not. enough. But <laughs> okay. okay, for those of us that can't play twenty four seven, <laughs> that might be an issue. So yeah, so we'll have a fix for that. Uh, we'll have a fix for clan XP that can sometimes uh, be blocked. So you mm -hmm. you know players would contribute to the clan XP and then eventually they would realize that they are not contributing anymore. They are not generating any XP yeah. for the clan. So people not getting any XP at all because I know we've got seen feedback from people who are in maybe smaller clans having mm -hmm. the same requirements, which is, a, I guess, that's great feedback. That's cool. What, is there any plans to look at that, or is it not a priority right now? It's, it's definitely something we want to look at. Uh, mm -hmm. We want to have a conversation about it, at least. Uh, that's for but sure. But not a bug. But it's not a bug. Okay. Uh, it's, it's an intention, and that's something we need to, to assess, depending on you know, community feedback. So regarding uh, group scaling, and group scaling as in level scaling, so when I'm playing with a level 30 and I'm level 12, and you know, everybody's been reporting that uh, they are being very, very squishy. Mm. Uh, and uh, so there's a bunch of reasons for that, and we're looking at all of those, and obviously that's not working as intended, so definitely something we need to look at. There's a bunch of reasons. Uh, the one that we're going to be addressing in the next uh, server patch is going to be that basically the NPCs uh, tuning is wrong. So they are doing too much damage, uh, basically. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be uh, addressing that. So they're going to be doing a much more reasonable amount of damage. Okay. But it's not going to completely fix the issue because there are still other things like the armor, basically, that doesn't scale properly because it goes with item quality. So if, for example, you have green items, and you're being mm -hmm. bumped to level 30 because you're playing with a level 30, your items are going to have level 30 stats, but level 30 stats of a green item, uh, which are not the level 30 stats of a gold item. Yeah, because most level 30s don't have a full yeah. green kit. So especially the armor value, which Makes ends up making you more squishy. So, okay. so we're looking at that. That is also something we're working on, but that will, not, that will have to be a client fix, so okay. that will not be in the next uh, server patch. Okay. Uh, and then there's a bunch of other things we're looking at that are not coming just yet, but that you know you should expect to come uh, eventually. You know mm -hmm. when we when we actually uh, have them ready. Uh, some of it are bug fixes, other are actually quality of life things that the community is requesting and that we want to address. Cool. Uh, things like the auto run on console, for example. That, uh, that's going to be in the game. Yeah, that's coming. Cool. That's coming. Uh, changing the group color for clan members. Uh, so it's cool. not yellow anymore. Uh, we don't. Do we have a color for that yet, or is it still? We, we don't know, right? There do is. Know, there is one, but I don't know. More fixes for the skill reset issue. So as I said, mm -hmm. we fixed the biggest uh, reason for it, but there are still client uh, client side issues that we're going to be looking at. Uh, and then there's a bunch of other things. We also have. You talked about the issue with the the weapon skins being lost when I would sell a when I would sell a weapon uh, mm -hmm. this kind of thing. So we are looking at making sure that people who lost them will actually get them back. Sure. Uh, so we have a fix for that. Um, 
character customization changes. So when people have been reporting that when they log uh, log into yeah. the game, sometimes their character change, uh, changes appearance mm -hmm. compared to what they had uh, decided, so or what they, the way they had customized it. Most of the time, just logging out and back in fixes the issue, but still, it's not a great experience. So we want to no. uh, we want to fix that. Field of view is an interesting one. Mm -hmm. Anything you can tell us about the FOV slider, or is yeah. that something that we'll yeah. see? We, yeah, we want to we want to do it. Okay. We want to add a field of view slider. Cool. Uh, it's, and it's important for people, and people have been talking about how you know this can be a cause for creating motion sickness and everything. Sure. So we want to make sure that you know the game is as fun and enjoyable as possible. So everything that's uh, breaking this uh, enjoyment and fun is something we need to look at. Well, tier five and and mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. Yeah. And somehow, there were uh, rumors that came from somewhere that, oh, you know, it's, it's happening this week. I have no idea where that came from. I have no idea. Was it you? No. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it wasn't <laughs> You're me. Pretty sure. uh, <laughs> because it was never intended that this would be a this week thing. No. We've never communicated a date for it. It's, no. I it's mean, soon. Yeah. But I mean, when it comes out, it, I mean, at least the plan, it's, it's not going to be a surprise, you know, so no, like, no. people will know when it comes out. So yeah. until we, you know, until we tell you, uh, everything is just yeah. pure speculation at this point. Yeah. Uh, but not this week. It's not this week. No. Um, and I think it's cool that there's this focus, um, which I, I guess is something we've learned from the first game, that health comes first. Yeah. Um, that, and uh, actually, Julian and Christian were on here talking about that last time. These issues that, you know, we're talking mm. about fixing, I think, having those as number one priority before yep. dropping World Tier 5, Tidal Basin, um, and big juicy PvE content like that. Yeah. Uh, it's important that the game's in a really good state. Yeah, we want to get all these uh, all these issues out of the way mm. first. I mean, we want to make sure that when World Tier 5 comes out and Tidal Basin, people really enjoy it.